Hey guys, how you doing? We're back for another beer review. Um, since I just sort of uh, sparsely space these out now on the channel, don't do as many as I used to do in semi-retirement, I guess. Um, I generally try to do these on my good cameras, but it is just so fucking hot today that I didn't have the... I uh, just didn't care to fucking set up the camera and charge my batteries and shit like that. I'd rather just do it on the webcam, so... Also, I also have a uh, little uh, cooler fan thing for a cool pad, I guess, cooling pad for the fucking laptop going. And, of course, I have my fan going, so if there's, like, too much background noise, what can I tell you? So, first thing we're going to do, a couple new reviews. Um, these just showed up in the NSLC. I assume either this week or last week. Actually, I know Goose Island. This one showed up like last week or a week before then even. Uh, this is Goose Island's Goose Honkers Ale. Alright. English style bitter. Uh, this is fruity hop aroma. Rich malt middle. 4.3% alcohol by volume. But alcohol by black, black, black of a wall. Yeah. 30 IBUs. Well, they actually put a lot of information on this label. That's interesting. Uh, Goose Island Beer Company. It contains barley and wheat. Uh, yeah, I think it, I think the hop profile is like Sturian Golding and Silea and some other stuff, I think. can't remember. Now, the big question. Was this brewed in Canada or the U.S.? Okay, this was bottled, brewed and bottled, um, but under Goose Island's supervision in Edmonton, Montreal, Halifax, Creston, St. John's. So this isn't a, uh, this isn't an authentic American Goose Island. This is a Canadian brewed version. Which kind of pisses me off, but I mean, if the beer's good, then I won't complain. Um, when you look at like Goose IPA, which I think is kind of garbage, I think I gave it a three out of five, though I can't remember. But it's just it wasn't that great. Um, I'm thinking the one in the U.S. is probably a little bit better. This one, we'll see. All right, but it's neat to see these products showing up. I'm hoping we'll just see some Bourbon County stuff sometime soon. I mean, I was honestly surprised we saw Sophie and Matilda as quickly as we did, even if it was just like a special little influx of the product. And those were, you know, the authentic ones brewed in the U.S., so. All right, she's an amber copper color. Quite a bit of head on her. All right, let's go right to the aroma. Hmm. Caramel with a touch of sort of earthy hops in the background. Very nice and malty. You could say fruity malt smell. Smells very pleasant. Smells like a slightly better version of um, like the Big Rock uh, traditional ale and the Big Rock Warthog. Um, what else? Can't think of anything at the moment. But, you know, that's sort of... Uh, pseudo uh, English style bitter but done you know somewhere different smells nice I so I suppose this is closer to a mild than a a mild bitter instead of you know like the sort of standard English bitters maybe I don't know but uh, cheers we'll go right to the taste
Starts off all right. Starts off with that sort of caramel malt taste. Um, but when it gets to the finish, the finish reminds me a lot like the Goose uh, IPA. Um, not quite as bitter as the Goose IPA, which wasn't really all that bitter to begin with, but because, um, you know, they're using slightly different hops here, probably lower IBUs. Uh, but yeah, I'm getting this sort of musty, dry, almost chalky kind of taste. I think some of it might have to do with the wheat, and some of it probably has to do with the water they're using. Um, I assume this is probably brewed in the same place that the Canadian Brewed Goose uh, IPA was done. And so that might be what's giving this this sort of slightly unpleasant finish. It's not disgusting or anything. It's just it, it, I, I don't feel it really delivers too well compared to the start of the beer when you're just drinking it. It's all right. It fits into the British bitter category fairly well. I think the finish is a little off, though. It's just kind of, there's a slight chalkiness, wheat musty kind of thing going on there that really doesn't work well for me, personally. You might think different. It's it's still a very easy drinking beer at 4.3% alcohol by volume. You can definitely put a few of them down in a night. Um, so that's not something to uh, sort of shrug your shoulders at. Yeah. I think I'm going to sit on this where I sat with the, uh, if I remember correctly, where I sat with the Goose Island IPA, and I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. Uh, it's solid. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to buy it again, though, honestly. Um, I think I'd rather just buy some Fuller's stuff, get an authentic English uh, bitter. Mm. But as an imitation, this isn't too bad but it just doesn't really do it for me all that well. But 3 out of 5 for Goose Honkers Ale. Might be up your alley if you want an easy drinking sort of malty uh, British style beer. Cheers, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.